is it just me or is it like time for Leatherman to step up and to create a more value line of multi-tools? I'm talking about full-size multi-tools. It doesn't have to be full-featured, but you know, something that's better than this Rev multi-tool for 33 bucks. Uh, it's just like the implements are just really not so great. And then if you want something better, you got to step up to a $40 multi-tool, the Wingman, and that's just kind of hit and miss for most. And then if you want something even better, you got to go to a $50 multi-tool, the Sidekick, which is starting to get there. That's the closest one for me personally, but I'm not going to spend 50 bucks for that. Now, the problem here is that I think that things are a bit inflated when it comes to multi-tools right now. Like this Gerber suspension typically goes for 20 to $30, depending on when you catch it. You know, the prices fluctuate a lot on Amazon, as we know. Does this offer a better value, though, than what we just looked at? I, I kind of think so. Would I buy this Gerber suspension? No. I don't think this is really that high of a quality. But look at this, this brand right here. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Is it NT? The NT brand. Let's just go with that. This little booger for like the last year has been popping up on Amazon. And it sells out very quickly, too. Sometimes you can't find it for like a month or two at a time because it's just totally gone. But when they do get more in stock, it just sells and it gets really good ratings, typically between like a four to five star. Right now, this one in particular is like 4.2 out of five stars. And it typically runs between 14 to $20, depending on the color and variation. But this one's very simple. But it has pretty much everything you really want. If you look at it, it's almost like a very, very minimalist version of the Leatherman Wave. But it's super cheap. And, it, and it's not like, you know, the Leatherman Wave is using this unbelievable high-end steel either. So I think what we're paying for is the brand. And I think we're paying for the name in conjunction with uh, all of the commotion that goes around it. And I'm not saying that, you know, Leatherman puts out bad products. I just think at this particular point, when you look at uh, the past few years of how much the prices have been inflated, I don't think that they're a good value anymore. And I don't think I'm alone on this. So check out this multi-tool, this NT multi-tool. It's pretty cool on Amazon. And hey, thanks for coming around. I'll catch you later.